In today's video, I am going to tell you a beautiful love story. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. This video is a story time video. Yay! <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get started. One day I was working in the northern part of Beijing and I had to take four different subway trains down to where I live. I just finished my work and I got onto the first train. I sat down and across from me was sitting a guy and I was like, hmm, he looks cute. <laughs> Nothing really happened, but then suddenly he looked at me and I looked back at him again and we kind of caught each other's sight, you know? So I smiled a little bit, but usually Chinese people never smile back. So, and also he was wearing this uh, black thing for like for the protection for pollution. Yeah, so I couldn't see if he was smiling or not, but he was looking at me and I could feel afterwards that he was still looking at me. We got off at the same stop and first I was walking in front of him, but then at some point I was kind of like pushed behind him because there were so many people, but I was looking at where he was at and then I just followed him into the second train. We were still going in the same direction when we got in there first I was behind him but then at some point I was kind of pushed to the other side but then when more people got off and on and on and off it's a big mess in the subway station I don't know can you are you following <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> at some point we stood back to back and I was just doing my thing he was doing his thing and I was thinking okay Ling Ling now you should do it because I've been practicing to just like go and talk to strangers because I have this problem doing that and it's so stupid because everyone here is like super open and it's never weird. So what I did was that I just turned on my WeChat and then when you get each other's WeChat contacts, I have a small QR code and then the other person can scan me and then you're just friends like that. So what I did was I prepared the QR code and I turned around, I just like on his shoulder, tick, tick, and then he turned around, he just took his phone, he totally got the message, so he just took his phone, scanned my QR code, turned around again, I added him on WeChat, and he said hey, I said hey, and I said where are you going, and he was like I'm going there, and I was like oh my god, I'm going there too, like how do I meet someone so far away from my place who is going in the same direction, like that was crazy. So we were still standing back to back and I got a seat, I sat down, we were on that train but then when we got off, so we didn't talk to each other on the second train, but then when we got off the second train, I walked beside him and I was like hey and he was like hey and then we started talking. <laughs> And we just started talking. We just hit it off immediately. We talked, talked, talked. We took the, the third train. We took the fourth train. Just talking, talking, talking. And he was supposed to get off a few stops after me, but he was like, do you want to have, like, did you eat dinner? And I was like, no. And he was like, let's get off together and have dinner. So I brought him to my favorite coffee shop nearby the subway station. We had dinner together and we were talking and I was like, oh my God, this dude is like me. Like he's chasing his dreams. Very often in China, people, they follow the rules. They just, you go to school, you go to university, you get a job and you get married and you have kids and blah, 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 you know, like very straightforward. But this guy, he was like, yeah, I'm from this poor place. You know, nobody cared about me. So I had to work really hard to get into the school and I want to be a big singer and I'm writing my own songs. And I was really like, whoa, this is so interesting. So we talked and talked and talked and afterwards I was like I didn't really want to say goodbye to him so we went for a walk around campus and before he left he kissed me oh so cute <laughs> then I had to go somewhere I had to travel for three weeks and he was not excited about that because I think I've said this before like with Chinese guys it's it's very controlling it's not too much like maybe this guy he was a little over the top he was like oh don't go like I want you to stay you know I think in China it's just like being controlling means that oh I miss you I care for you and you really like I think you're really cute you know so I think a lot of girls like like that for me it's fine you know I'm used to it so he was like don't go don't go and I was like well I have to because I already bought tickets I need to go so fast forward three weeks I came back again and we met again 
but this time I was like, ah, I don't know, like this is, we're probably not each other's best match anyways, because we're too similar, if that makes sense. Because also, well, he was just getting a little too controlling, basically, I was sick and I was like, I can't see you tonight, I'm really sick. And he was like, oh, I'm on my way, I'm gonna be there in five minutes. And I was like, whoa, dude, chill. But yeah, so he showed up and I went out to see him. He told me that he had written a song for me, like, he told me also that he had checked all of my WeChat moments. I have like a million WeChat moments. He had looked through all of them to see when was my birthday and then he wrote this song for me and he played it for me and it was extremely cute. I was like, oh my God, if I really liked you, then that would be so cute. But to me at that time, it was just a little intense because we had only met twice, you know, only met yeah. twice. So I was like, oh, that's really nice, you know, and we were hanging out that, uh, evening but at some point I was like okay I need to go back I feel really sick so I went back again and then he just started texting me like crazy and I had to be honest with him I I don't want to fool people you know I just said to him I'm sorry I don't think we're the best match for each other it was really nice meeting you but I don't think this is gonna work out also another trigger was that he said oh I want a foreign girlfriend and I hate that sentence when guys say that then I'm like okay you're with me because I'm a foreigner not because I'm me I really really don't like that sentence so guys if you're a Chinese guy and you're looking for a girlfriend abroad or a girlfriend in China who's foreigner then do not say that do not ever say that uh, he also said that he would cut his hair short he had long hair he said he would cut his hair short when he met a girl he wanted to have as a girlfriend so he was ready to go and cut his hair the first day we met and I was like ooh intense here oh makes me sweat you know yeah so I told him that it was not gonna work out and he freaked out and he started blaming me and yeah it was okay it's a very bad ending I'm sorry I just thought in general the story is kind of cute like you meet someone in the subway and he writes you a song a little intense two meetings guys two meetings but yeah I guess that's just China style or everyone is different you know one is like this another one is like this but I think in general Chinese guys are extremely romantic and I really thought that writing a song was really cute. It was just a little intense at that time, but if another guy did that, I would be like, oh, that's so cute, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was interesting meeting him. He was a very interesting person, but yeah, in the end it didn't work out, so. I guess it is a love story with a bad ending. I'm sorry guys, I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. Um, thank you for watching, please don't judge me too much. Also let me know in the comments below if you've experienced anything similar. Please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos from Ling Ling. And yeah, guys just want to say that I'm writing a book about AMWF dating in China, my first experience with Chinese guys in china very interesting very very interesting it's all about my adventure in 2011 so get ready for that may 2018 yes and yeah check out my instagram facebook patreon also later around and i'll see you next time thank you and goodbye ling ling is out see ya and bye bye